Hello. In this presentation, we're going to talk about applications of direct detectors for 4D STEM. We'll begin with an overview of the technique. In traditional STEM, a focused electron beam is rastered point by point over a specimen, and a signal is recorded to form a two-dimensional image of the specimen. 4D STEM is a more recent development in which a 2D diffraction pattern is recorded at every point of the 2D raster. This yields a 4D data set recorded from the specimen, which contains vastly more information than is available in the standard 2D technique. 4D STEM requires the use of a pixelated detector, which is sensitive to single electrons. This is a list of some of the detectors from direct electron uh, that can be used to support 4D STEM imaging. So what are some of the applications of the technique? For one thing, you can generate 2D virtual STEM images from the 4D data by masking part of the diffraction patterns and then summing the information in them together. You have complete freedom in 4D STEM to choose the size, shape, and position of the mask you use so that you can maximize the signal that you're interested in. You can also use 4D STEM data to make maps of uh, crystalline phases crystalline strain or crystal grain orientation in the specimen, or you can map electric and even magnetic fields. And there are many other possibilities of things you can do with 4D data sets as well. To show you just one example of how 4D STEM can offer a greater level of information about the specimen, I'm going to use some data that was collected by the Voiles Group at the University of Wisconsin-Madison on a Celeritas XS detector from Direct Electron. First, you can see a more traditional 2D dark field stem image of the molecular glass material that they were studying. This 2D image has some uh, variations in brightness, but doesn't tell us very much about the material by itself. However, when we use 4D stem and we look at diffraction patterns acquired from different areas of this specimen, we can see bright bands uh, at, in different areas of the diffraction pattern which relate to the orientations of clusters and molecules in the molecular glass. We can use the 4D stem data to generate maps of the material, which tells us about the size of ordered domains in the glass. And we can also compare ordering in molecular glasses that were synthesized under different conditions and start to learn about the different properties uh, that that gives these materials. This is information that's available in 4D STEM, but not available via traditional 2D STEM imaging. This is just sort of one example of the many ways that 4D STEM can be beneficial, giving you more information about a specimen. To learn more about Direct Electron and other applications of our direct detectors, please visit our website, get in touch via email, or follow us online.